呃，欢迎大家参加中华基督教会神山堂新唱主日礼拜。呃、uh, ，Welcome to WSC Westminster Church Holy Communion Sunday Service. Shall we all rise? 请咱大家起立。唱出天地心间跳，团队人就笑笑。主，我的上帝，你是配得荣耀、尊贵、光荣的，因为你创造了万物，万物拢是因着你的旨意而存在，而被造的。You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their beings. Let's pray. 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 唔只是这个世界万物的主宰，你也是阮生命的主。阮的心愿尊主你做大，阮一生愿交托托托心灵管理。主，我感谢你，可就卖带了了阮每一个人对无同的所在啊来到这，我们拍拜在你的面前，深深的敬拜你，来尊崇你。感谢主耶稣，是你的死。你嘅国话，同阮得到定定头先，是你，就是你嘅流出嘅宝血，也堪了阮一切嘅罪过。就感谢你，感谢你嘅恩典，同阮今仔早起有翻过一摆，甲主你同坐倒，求主你陪伴阮嘅心来领受圣餐，纪念主你嘅带领，你嘅带领甲牺牲。今朝做检查去，有阮的五幺两木数，为了传讲主的信息给阮，就主的舒服可以，属于能力，同样舒服同阮的欢乐关，祝家娘兄弟，也求你也舒阮谦卑修改的心来领受尊敬。阮也希望到身体软弱、心灵欠安的，特别是阮年长的兄弟姊妹。求助你一地安慰，啊，保护因。老老舅的兄弟姊妹，求助你看顾因的脚步，平安的来到阮的当中。早起每一项的敬拜，求助你热热，愿你伫今仔日的敬拜中得到最大的荣耀。Dear Heavenly Father, You are the Lord of creation. The heaven and the earth came from You. The universe began from You. And all things are made by your hands, Lord. You are not only the master of everything in this world; you are the Lord of our lives. It is our desire to magnify you, Lord, and have our life governed by your Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for guiding each of us once again to come and bow down before you, worship and honor you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because of your death and resurrection that allow us to be born again, and it is your precious blood shed on the cross that covers all our sins. Thank you, Lord, and may you prepare our hearts to partake of the Holy Communion and remember your great love and sacrifice. Thank you, Lord, for our Reverend William Huang is going to preach your message to us this morning. Please bless him and grant him strength, and as well bless our translator, Brother Joshua Cho, to translate your message. Now, please grant us a humble and teachable heart to receive and obey. We are remembering our brothers and sisters who are physically weak, in distress, and especially our elderly. Now, touch him with our holy hand, heal, and comfort them. You are also we are also remembering our brothers and sisters on the road. May Lord, you watch over them and come to us safely. 
May our worship this morning be pleasing and acceptable to you. May you have the greatest glory in our worship today. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Hong Zhu Yasuo, Ki Tok Xing Mia, Amen. Chia Te Do Xia. Thank you. Be please be seated. Ah, 大家好，早起。咱来吟几首的诗，陪伴咱的心，来领受早起的听道理。咱先来吟主啊，主啊，我来读先，卢老。上帝所经营、所建造的，后来因却羡慕一个更加水的家乡，就是在天顶，所以上帝被称因做因的上帝。咱今仔在遮吟这首诗，那么想念咱有真侪兄弟姊妹，在这个苦逼的点钟已经到真水的家乡，今仔日咱要特别想念。咱啊，敬爱的娶婆人张罗，哦，一昨日是三载，哦，所以已经先平安到那个各水各有根基的家乡的天顶，请咱大家起立，咱用一分钟哦，默想，啊、uh, ，I would like to 啊、uh,。Today we sing this dolor. We remember many of our brothers and sisters had been fly away, way beyond the blue. Today we would like to mem、uh, remembrance our elder, elder holy cow. Yesterday is a、uh, morning end, mababang luksa. So we like to sing this dolor in remembrance of her. We keep one minute silent. So then, the team will carry him. Ah, then you can put that in your hand.
，约翰十三章二十三节讲，有一个安息的所在，就是靠近真神的怀中；罪恶无法通侵占的所在，就是靠近真神的怀中。咱要三个白唱，靠近神怀。There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God. Thank you. 来吟哈文 ，Give me oil in my lamp. Thank you. Oh, no. 
一个月的背念的经，则讲是伫提多书二章十一节，请咱大家先用中文学两卖，后用英文学两卖。Let us recite together our verse of the month, each in Titus chapter two, verse eleven, first in Chinese twice, then in English. 提多书二章十一节。因为上帝纠正人的恩典已经显明出来，叫什么？提多书二章十一节，因为上帝纠正人的恩典已经显明显明出来。Titus chapter two verse eleven, for the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people. Titus chapter two verse eleven. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all people. 咱今仔早起的圣诗经文是记载伫启示录的二十章十一至十五节及啊二十一章的第八节，请大家啊三级来读，先用中文，后用英文。Our theme passage this morning is found in Revelation chapter twenty, verse eleven to fifteen, and chapter twenty-one. Verse eight. Let us read together first in Chinese, then in English. Shall we all rise? Chan and Tai Ke, Kia Ke Lai. Kasi Liao, Li Zhap Yi Jiu Zhap Yi Ji Zhap Wo Zhat. Wa Ge Kuan Ki Zhe Ge Pei Xia Ge Dua Bo Zuo Gap Zhe Di Ling Ming Ge. Dui Yi Min Jing Ti Dui Long Dou Bi. Mo Ge Tang Kuan Ki Ge So Zai Lo. Wa Ge Kuan Ki Si Liao Ge Lang Mo Lun Dua Sui. 拢徛伫宝座前，按管点开咯，并且另有一管点开，就是画面黑死了的人，拢凭着这按管所记载，照因所行的受审判。对安尼，海交出其中的死人，死亡甲阴间也交出其中的死人，因拢照达人所行的受审判。死亡甲阴间也是有天地黑恶来，这黑恶就是第二卖的死。老人命里无记地，活命册顶，伊就受天地黑恶来。Revelation chapter twenty eleven to fifteen. Then I saw a great white throne, and, and him who was seated on it. From his presence, earth and sky fled away. And no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books, according to what they had done. And the sea gave up the dead who were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each of them according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. That is all. That is, case is Luke chapter eighteen at the point that Doctor Wu, the doctor, the doctor. 无信的，通啊通证的，害人的，淫乱的，行邪术的，拜偶像的，甲一切讲白贼的，因的恨就要伫烧伫硫磺的海湖内。这是第二卖的诗 ，Revelation twenty one eight。But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the testable, and for And as for murderers, the sexual, immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portions will be in the lake of that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Thank you. Please be seated. 多谢，请坐。
speak uh, regarding to our baptism this morning. Baptism is not a washing of sins or forgiving of sins. And baptism is not a requirement for a person to become a child of God. And baptism is not a guarantee for salvation. And baptism is not a graduation right that qualify you to be part of our Christian family. So baptism is, is an outward expression of our inward reality in one person if he really believes and accepts the Lord Jesus Christ as his or her personal savior, which is something rooted inside him and developed inwardly through baptism, he or she expresses it outwardly. So baptism is a testimony. It's a testimony to God and to men and to all, to our congregation here this morning. Baptism is a public uh, stand against uh, Satan and sin. And lastly, baptism is a sign of submission to God. Your submission of lordship to God. So may I call on our one and only candidate brother T.J. Troy, Troy to come forward the stage here. Can you come? Before baptizing our only uh, candidate uh, brother T.J. To this morning, I would like to ask him one question only. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Okay. So by acknowledge him as your Lord and uh, serve him throughout your life. Okay. So upon the confession of your faith and in obedience to the command of the Lord Jesus Christ, we will now baptize you. Okay. I baptize you with water in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us prepare our hearts to listen to today's message entitled Why Do People Fear? to be delivered by our Reverend William Huang, translated by Brother Joshua Cho. In what I was saying, Firstly, I would like to uh, offer a thanksgiving. Actually, it's the March of the Sako at the as a Sako getting, no, go a symptom what what the Thanksgiving to you all for praying for a event, cardiovascular related event, that three months ago I suffered a cardiovascular event and you folks prayed for me. Connecting flight to us in ambulance. Yeah, firstly I was admitted to the uh, to the hospital across the street, but eventually I was moved to the National Heart Center. It took 14 days, all in all. So it came up heart center long to succeed it at the both hanging toy gua kito, a gua asi, tin kam kika inui siung te tia dini kito, or gua kina, you go no tan kia di tiki so time. Thanksgiving to you for praying for me and thanks ultimate thanksgiving to our God for answering your prayers. 
，所以我感谢上帝，感谢您啊，感谢您啊，教会有这个 Christian 的啊，这个好处嗰啲啊，啊，真多嘅帮衬。A, a personal gratitude is also extended to one of our members,、uh, Christine Tan. In case of angiogram, there are also some angioplasty. Some extent, oh, can go to this two organ area. I think I can do better. So I'm grateful to you. I underwent uh, underwent、uh, angiogram and angioplasty, and three stents were placed in my heart, and now. And that has served me well. And right now I'm back. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Tipe ko ba kami sa Lordy kinait ako kung tagay long ping anti sa so sa tiyan su di way su kiti sing ning unhing timuy tige tiyan ay kang ay kwan ay ke ah ting lang ay binting ah ho in titio pangsan hong su ay so sing mera kyu. Amen. Amen. Tama yung so tag ay king buno nung upat ang titi tap si tat lay bin kwan tio So the passage we read this morning, verse 14, tells us that there is a second death. Na taksing king ilang ah, yun dan lung tong kaya di taksing king ilang. Di yu et sanya kung alang si unang pay si au nang pay. So according to the Bible, people are are born twice and they die twice. Ulang tu si si pai oh, ulang oh kyuk si neng pai, ulang jiu si si pai, ngku i atio si neng te di pai. So we all know that most all people are born once. Scientifically, it's a fact that we are born once. But the Bible tells us that for some of us, we are born twice. But when it comes to death, we all die once, and then and then eventually the Some of them, some of us will die a second death. So this is a very strange thing. This is a very strange thing. So this business of being born and then dying is a mysterious topic. It's something that we we would like to discuss. I think people are not able to die. They are not able to die. They are not able to die. They are not able to die. 跳得几卡子，手安尼真艰苦，所以无死哦，真歹命。阿弟阿哥，红荷兰红绳啊，真正无好啊。So there are certain people who are tired of living and decided to take life into the uh to matters into their own hands and take their life. So they would jump from a, a very high place, from a high tower, and jump down. And some of them did not die. Death had eluded them. But consequently, they broke an arm and a limb, and、um, their their pain and suffering were prolonged thereafter as a result. Then, when they were born again, they were born again. 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 So all of us know that we are born. We are given. Our parents have given birth to us. This is our first. We are born the first time through our parents. Go to the birth of the child. They were born again. They were born again. They were born again. They were born again. The so-called second birth refers to our being born again. We're being born by God's Spirit, and therefore, this is our second birth. 对圣灵是，就是一个人呐，信主耶稣了后，得到一个永生的时阵，啊，经历到顶头生得救啊，这就是第二摆的事呢。So those who have accepted Jesus Christ into their hearts will experience a second birth. That is, their spirit has been quickened. And this is very much like being born again by the Holy Spirit. Then the living life is very short. Ah, get eight years old, then long be decay, long be get sick. Our life on earth, the brevity, the shortness of life is so incredibly short. Ah, within one hundred years, ah, we all go the way of our forefathers. Then the chap show the truth, yeah, so he took three days to kill two. Ah, this is ancient living being. Ah, is it ancient living being? So, but when we accept Jesus and we're given the second birth, we will also be given the eternal life. Lang sui dan tikiu lo, ah, 就是啊，讲顶头先咯。人就有许永永生永生咯。个所以啊，啊，有人有一摆会死，佫有两摆会死，啊，有两摆会死。So for some people, they are born twice, die once, but born twice, and ah, and then second life. 
But the other people, they're only born once, but they die twice. 这个头一摆会生，就是咱一般世间人对父母生出来会生啦。So there's a distinction between being born once by your parents and then and then being born by the Holy Spirit. 因为这个生活以后，佫唔认不做耶稣的人。But for those who chose not to believe that、uh, they will have no knowledge of Jesus Christ. 总是今仔日，咱已经伫遐信靠了主耶稣的人，接受伊做你个人的救主了哦。这是第二摆一生，就是得到这个永生，经历到迄个顶头是得救的经验。So for those who accept Jesus Christ, you experience being、uh, quick and alive. And this is what we call the born again experience, being given birth by the Holy Spirit, and that is the assurance of our salvation that we will be saved unto eternal life. 如果主耶稣宽容咱来讲啊，咱过了一百年，要主耶稣也未过再来啊，见了讲咱隆重已经予人被送到这个殡仪馆里面了。For sure, if Jesus delays His coming for another hundred years. All of us in this room would would go the way of our four parents, and our and, and then and then we will be、uh, you know sent to the funeral home. So this is called the third birth, is the new birth. So that refers to dying once physically. The third birth is the new birth, 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 is the new birth. But the second death that Bible warns us of, those who chose not to believe will die a second death, and this is the dying eternally, being eternally separated from God. So it is the ancient, it is the ancient God. At the third day, the ancient is the ancient. The third day, the ancient is the ancient. So for people, for some people, they will experience、uh, a second birth, but dying only once. And then inheriting eternal life, but for others who chose to reject Christ, they will die. They are born once, but they will die twice. And the second death refers to eternal separation or eternal death. This ancient and ancient are two different paths. Ah, born again people are going to go to the ancient path. Unbelievers are going to go to the ancient path. So choose for yourself this day. Whether it's eternal life through Jesus Christ or being separated from God, and then you undergo eternal death, lasting death. This is the second thing that the Bible says. The third thing, 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 the third thing. Of being cast into the lake of fire, and this is the common language that people use, being、uh, in hell. But the Bible speaks of a place of burning sulfur and a lake of fire where where there's gnashing of teeth. This is the first time that people talk about the way. People are very happy to talk about the way. People are very happy to talk about the way. People are very happy to talk about the way. People are very happy to talk about the way. People are very happy to talk about the way. People are very happy to talk about the way. People are very happy to talk about the way. Uh, the, the, of, of hell. So, when the Bible says that the third birth is the third birth, it is the third birth. So, the third birth is the third birth. So, the third birth is the third birth. So, hell being cast into the hell is equivalent to saying you are、uh, that person experiencing a second death. But can I do with him? Not being case, you need to be just the point that they are so going in with long or strong, strong. I can't be that way. So there is that verse that I'm referring to us all in Revelation twenty one twenty one eight. It refers to people like to lie and then they're liars by nature. This is very serious. In the Bible, it says that people who say they can't be that way, they are often the ones who are in the hell of hell. Revelation 21:8 warns against those who lie all the time or who lies. Period, because their portion is in the lake of fire. So, we say that this is a very serious matter. It is a very serious matter that if you 
are given to speaking white lie, you know that the destination of those kinds of acts is hell. In addition to lie, lying, there are seven other characteristics that are that will destine that person to hell. So, for those who commit all these eight acts and are being judged for their actions will make them go to hell. Revelation 21.8 speaks of the eight characteristics of a hell-bound person, but I choose to uh, speak in depth just one. Actually, the very first characteristic is, uh, is very surprising. It speaks of the cowardly, those who are, are fearful. They, they will go into hell. Isn't it? It's more intuitive as you read the, the seven other characteristics. They are more intuitive that they deserve hell. But the cowardly is... Uh, it's something that we have to think it through better. So what does it mean that if a person is hellbound, he he is judged on the basis that he was cowardly? There's a a well-known American preacher who preached that fear, uh, fear uh, that gives rise to being a cowardly, is a calling card of Satan. So it's like Charles Spurgeon, he said, Satan lay among them hung the season. It just like calling card or just like a poor holy season. Then the church will season the again. Charles Spurgeon also says that if if Satan comes calling with his calling card of fear, you must resist it. The Bible uh, um, encourages us, fear not, only believe. So we must steadfastly refuse to be swayed by, to be overcome by fear. If you are totally given to fear and your actions are the result of being fearful or being afraid, eventually this will lead you to hell. Why is it that Christians can combat fear? Because the Bible tells us that we, we can use faith and love to combat the fear that is trying to take over. So For those who are who who have their faith in God, they can overcome fear. Apostle John speaks in his book, uh, he writes that perfect love casts out fear. For someone who is motivated by love, or his, whose action is motivated, motivated by love, he has nothing to be fearful of. 
，才当一个做老母的讲，伊的囝吼无论拄着染着什么款的传染病，还是真正呃危险的病吼，因老母唔惊。So even though you may have been a, uh, in a severe, serious medical situation, so long as you do not lose your faith, you hang on to your faith, you will not be, you will not succumb to fear. In our mo, in we tell, we don't care. I don't, don't need. Let the call to get your lung COVID to walk. Yeah, this is the shoot out the point. Down, let's go and jump. Ah, that thing is damn dope. Damn dope. Yeah, yeah. So it's remember during the heavy COVID. Situation, the pandemic times, that we are afraid. Most of us are afraid to be uh, to come down with COVID. 最老母也不会惊，所以人家讲到听哦，啊是无惊吓。咱的信心，咱的听心，两行加起来哦，就保证咱一生一世永远不会惊。Mothers who are taking care of their family, who love their, she love she love her children. She would have no fear in come. In combating the situations, in the Kenya, the land is not one to one. Because those who are given to fear, who are overcome by fear, they do not have love. Singing in the Kenya, the land is just to get to the other side. So, the Bible says that the sin to be not afraid. So, the Bible warns us that those who are cowardly will, their fate is in the lake of fire. 在创世纪第三章三到八，呃、啊，三到十七的所在，甲在创世纪第二章十六到十七的所在，有一件惊吓的代志哦，发生在爱丁园的所在啊。In Genesis three,、uh, chapter three eight, in Genesis two, verse sixteen, it speaks of an event that introduced fear to mankind. 那个惊吓的原因哦，是因为阿东哦违背了上帝命令。呃、uh, ，the situation involves the first perfect man who has nothing to be afraid of, but because of something he did, that he a sin he committed that caused fear. 上帝甲阿东讲啊，那个树，呃，隆重那个花园内面，爱田园内面的几只树，你通食啊，总是。迄个分别善恶的果子，迄个酒，迄个果子唔能食，因为你食的日子哦会死啊。God warned Adam in Genesis 2:16 says, "The Lord God commanded the man, saying, 'You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die.'" 这是上帝真严重的一个。啊，命令啊，会经过啊，底下，所以讲到什么唔通食的物件，啊，你有真多啊，所以我想我最好的答案哦，就是讲上帝啊，讲袂做食，就唔通食啊。So, uh, ideally, the man, the man and his wife should have taken the warning seriously, and not to question the authority of God's warning to him, God's word. 所以无需要过第二个理由啊，因为咱属乎上帝的人，上帝那讲好就是好啊，上帝那讲无好，但是无好啊。So when God says you cannot eat of the fruit of good、uh, knowledge of good, of good and evil, then you should not question that command, but rather make that as an off limit. 上帝那讲会做做啊，你就自己做咯啊，啊，那讲袂做做，你唔通去做啊。If God says you can eat Other fruits, eat all of the fruits except this one. Then you go by all means, eat all the other fruits, but not this one. Why? Why? Because we, we trust in God. We hear that. We trust in God. We trust in God. So we know that God is in charge. We know what is right and what is wrong. If we know that God is in charge, we know what is right and what is wrong. If we know that God is His intention is pure and good, and it's for our own good that we should not question. Or his motives for commanding us, for giving us commandments, we just go and do it. 上帝嘛知影，什么对咱有有益处，对咱有有派出的所在啊。伊讲什么哦，就是什么啦。啊，咱需要的哦，就是啊，顺服上帝，无方面咯。So we need not question God's authority for whatever He expressed that we can do. By all means, we can do them. But there are things that he says don't do. Then we just be, 
we just have to be obedient and not do them. But for someone who does not know God, who does not believe in God, that person will will question everything and and if God says you cannot do this by his commandment that forbids you from doing certain things, you will question everything that God because you do not believe him. So, but for someone who is of the Lord, that person relies on God for everything. And whatever God says, uh, His commandments, He never questioned. He just believed the Lord. So just like a little child, very trusting of the parents, he would just accept at face value what the parents tell him or her what to do and what not to do. So even uh, the parents know a lot, a, a whole lot more than the child. So on that basis, the child would trust her, his parents or her parents. So the child, knowing that the parents are out of love and the parents is more experienced, uh, the child would not question the authority or will go against the express will of the parents. So likewise, as children of God, let us be like a little child in accepting the things of God as they were expressed in the Bible. Actually, it's not that God's laws and commandments are not founded on on reason. Actually, they're very all reasonable. The reasons upon which uh, the, uh, the God's commandments are founded are very uh, solidly, are foundationally solid. It is through our limitations of the human faculty that we do not discern the goodness of God through His commandments, and therefore, out of our sub of our uh, fallenness. Uh, the limitation of our faculty, we cannot ex appreciate the commandments and therefore we will rebel and go against God. So when you don't know, when, as, when you're little, when you're young in your faith, in your faith walk, you do not understand, and there, there's a temptation to doubt God. But when you become mature, when you become mature in your faith walk, that's when your faith increases and God helps you in your walk. So 
So when you eventually, um, being God's revelation, build up your faith as you mature in your faith walk with God, and you have been revealed, God's re revealed through his word, the reason for saying all of these things, for making all of these commandments, then you will begin to appreciate the, um, the in infinitude of God, that God is a God of all seeing, all knowing, and, and he's a good God, who, who, who wills nothing but the best for you. And you begin to appreciate those. So we begin to appreciate those. So we begin to appreciate those. So we begin to appreciate those. So the best is to be like childlike. Uh, accept the things that expressed by the Lord through His Word, the Bible, and then that will serve you well in the long run. Uh, so because if you try to understand everything and we are not God, uh, all that will lead you to decrease in faith and not to increase your faith. In the case of Adam, he, uh, God warned him by eating of the forbidden fruit, he would surely die. So when he ate it, actually he did not die immediately. In fact, he get to live for 930 years. So he did not die immediately when he took on the forbidden fruit and, and ate, partake of it. All he did, all what came, what overcome him was his sense of nakedness. And uh, so how does that, how do we explain this? So this is what Lang, Siong Te Kong, is Si Lang, Di Bichu, like Kalang Kong, to see, what you could wait to see, then what you could hang Yong Kong, a walking dead, a living dead that who walks. So how do you explain the conundrum that Adam experienced after eating the fruit? God says he will die, he will shall surely die, but he was but he spent the next nine hundred and thirty years still alive. That is because God, when God sees that he took on the forbidden fruit and sin and let, let sin enter into the human race, he knows that person is died spiritually to him, no longer a living person, but a, a dead person that Temporarily still alive, but it's a walking dead, like so a zombie. So, so this is a zombie. I don't know if you can see it. It's a zombie. 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 So that's been the story of human, um, of the human race that, uh, we're just a bunch. Before knowing Jesus, we're just a bunch of walking dead. So um, that's because from God's vantage point of view that we have died to him inside. And unless we come to Jesus, we will never be made alive. So the life of a natural man would uh, just carry on with his business as usual as if nothing had happened and then try to get well off and try to prosper in many things paying no condition, no attention to the, uh, to the deadness that is inside of him. And the beauty of it is it takes the, the work of the Holy Spirit that for someone to be convicted of their sin, 
seeing through all of the facade of life and seeing through their deadness. And when they cry out to God, and that's when they're born again. They're being quickened from the inside out. They're being quickened again and to become alive and being born again. So Adam, while realizing that he did not die immediately, he would, he would regret the fact that from that point on, after sinning the first, sin the first time, he would, fear would be his constant companion. No longer would he dwell in the absolute sense of security because he became dead, inside he became, and he knows that death will come knocking on his door someday. Because you don't know when death will eventually show up in your door, you have absolutely no knowledge of when that death will come collecting for the debt that we owe to God. And yet he would come collecting and the Grim Reaper will show up at your door. We don't know what time will that happen. So therefore we are always fearful. I don't think to see him since because Adam feared of that, uh, from that point on, God, Adam is given to fear because he, didn't, he had not believed in God's word. He did what the Lord commanded him not to do. So when he did it, his first reaction is to hide away, to clothe himself and to stay away from God. He knows that God's warning will find its fulfillment in due course, but he does not know yet uh, when will God will death will come collecting. But for those of us who have come to Jesus Christ, who have accepted salvation through Jesus, that we are no longer given to fear. True, one day we are death, our old self, this physical self will grow old and, and die. But we know there's more to that than this life is suggesting. When we know um, what the truth is, knowing that there is a glorious body awaiting, awaiting for those who are in Christ, we have nothing to be afraid of. We know that while we need to pass through this uh, let, letting go of the, our physical self, which is death, we know that it's just temporary because right thereafter there is a destination to go to that we will be, that the Lord will meet us and that we will inherit eternal life. Jesus promised to come back again for, for, those, for those who belong to him, those who had, who had gone asleep, which is a euphemism for those who have died, for those who are in Christ who died, Jesus will come back for them. When we receive our resurrection, just like Jesus, we are, will be completely made free. Right now, we are still living in this transitionary period. We, are, we have been born again, but we are designed, we are destined to live out all of our lives on earth according to God's will. But we know glory awaits us. Lasting glory awaits us. We know that this is not the end. If this old body of mine goes to the ground, this will be not will not be the end of me. 
，所以咱对对象的生活，多结到天堂天顶的生活，对象的生活，过一个一段路的时阵，咱要啊到天顶啊多结起来，就天顶要开始生活。For those who are in Christ, death, this first death is just a transition. It will transition you to your to be with Jesus in His paradise. And then your your、uh, your body, your resurrected resurrected body like his. 讲较简单嘞，就是咱这灵魂要换所在啦，啊，要搬出到天堂的所在。It's like moving on from this world to the kingdom and the world of our Lord Jesus Christ. 因为迄个所在是何止无比，对上你知有啥物？有皇太帝尊啦、金香啦、战争啦，即有老百姓艰苦病痛，即皆有啊。True, in this world that we live, there is、uh, calamity, there is war, there is pestilence, there is famine, there is illness, sickness of all manner. But take heart, we are we are destined for the world to 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 Jesus and and not of this world. The teaching is to be unhealed, ah, to be healed of the Lord, to be completely unhealed. Ah, then to this world is the first place. Then you go to the next one. So. What awaits us over in the other divide is、uh, nothing of what we are experiencing here. That we will be truly secure and peaceful when we get there. So, then, when we hear this, then we will know that we are already afraid. We are already afraid because we are people of God. So, we no longer have to fear. Have to fear what what Adam feared because we belong to God. We are already people of God. So, we no longer have to fear. Have to fear what what Adam feared because we belong to to Jesus. 因为主要说的是，未决定个人担当，咱应该就担当诶。啊，伊推咱死，伊推咱骨活，啊，咱正做一个自救诶人。Because what Jesus did at the cross on our on His people's behalf is to take on the penalty that should be ours. He took it upon Himself, and God judged that, judged Him at the cross. 咱每一个信主诶人，咱已经有一个保护诶。We have been covered and sealed for redemption, covered by the shed blood of Jesus, of the the Lamb of God, and our sins have been forgiven. So, when we face the problems, we solve the problems. We face the problems, we solve the problems. We have no reason to fear anymore. We have no reason to fear anymore when God declares you to be forgiven. And God accepts you; that we have nothing to be afraid of. So, I thank you. You didn't say you were scared, right? Are you still afraid? You are not in Jesus. You are still scared. If you have not yet accepted Jesus fully, then then there is reason to be afraid. So, 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 <laughs> the pastor was telling me that、uh, for those who are in Christ, we do not fear death, but we are fearful of pain. Because last March, when Pastor had his uh, uh, situation, he felt he felt pain in the chest. So I know that we are not afraid of death. We are not afraid of death. So many people who are saying that they are not afraid of death, they are not afraid of death. 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 They are not afraid of death.
主耶稣的恩惠，上帝的听通，圣灵宝会所的感动，感恩每一位同在的高主的真经就必可再来。May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all until your very soon coming again. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please listen to some announcement. Um, 关于乐意的人是上帝所喜爱。咱会奉献收割伫一个呃出口的边头个。呃 ，God loves a cheerful giver. Our offering box are located here in the front before the exit. 诶，主日的讲员是王金荣牧师主会。嗯，小我点咯。Next Sunday speaker Reverend William Jonathan Ong, moderator Elder Ida Ko. Have a blessed Sunday.